Howdy guys, Bookie Laura here. You may have spotted it's another Christmas jumper. This time we're on Gingerbread Men, which can mean only one thing. It's a random Christmas video that's got almost nothing to do with books. And in fact, this actually has nothing to do with books at all. It's not even an almost nothing. So if, you, if you're not interested in videos that have nothing to do with uh, books, then it's probably time to press skip. Apologies in advance. As I said previously, I am an absolute Christmas addict. I love the festive period. I love every blooming thing about it. And so I want to make videos which just kind of celebrate that and talk about the things that I love. So this week, on this video, I'm bringing you my top Christmas foods. I am also, it's worth saying, a massive foodie. I do love food and I struggle on, in day-to-day -day life with not being able to eat all of it all the damn time. But what I really like, one of the things I really like about Christmas is that it kind of becomes okay to overindulge to a degree. And there are a lot of foods that you perhaps wouldn't eat at any other time of the year, which you do eat a lot of at Christmas. In fact, there are lots of foods I eat at Christmas that I don't eat at any other time of year. And I love them, so maybe I should start. As ever, these are in no particular order. They're just a list of beautiful foods that you should try if you haven't. So the first one, and this is always the first Christmassy festive food that I eat around this time of year, is mince pies. Mince pies sound absolutely disgusting. Like the idea of mince meat, whenever I think about it, it makes me feel a little bit sick. But actually there's something about mince pies that I just love. And they're always the first food which I eat around the Chris Christmas period because I always make sure that I buy or make some mince pies for when we put the decorations up. So it just, you know... It's there. It's right from the first second. A lovely, tasty mince pie. Hmm. Another food which I absolutely adore, and my son would argue with me all day about this one, is Brussels sprouts. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of veg. I do like my veg. Um, maybe that's an adult thing. I don't know. Um, but Brussels sprouts are just incredible. They are absolutely the devil in some ways. They can do things to your insides that should never be done. But I love the taste of them. I'm also I'm also significantly scarred by the fact that I've I've always had experience of like quite overcooked Brussels sprouts. So I do love a good soggy Brussels sprout. And I don't know what that says about me, but I really really do. I don't eat them at any other time of the year. They will give me belly pain like no pain I will experience at any other point in the year. But I feel like it's worth it for Christmas dinner. Another food which I only eat at Christmas and I absolutely adore and it's absolutely wonderful but again is the devil is Christmas pudding. Christmas pudding is just the most amazing thing in the world. All this fruit and just really really rich food. I don't even know how to describe it. It's one of those foods that when you look at it you think I'm gonna be able to eat a shed load of that and then when you actually have like one spoonful it makes you feel so bloated and so full because it's just so rich but I love it. Christmas pudding cream. I will eat Christmas pudding and cream till the cows come home. It's just absolutely beautiful. Incredible food. Love it. And then the final food on this very short list of Christmas food is pigs in blankets. Now if you don't know, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't know, pig in, pigs in blankets are basically teeny tiny sausages wrapped in bacon. And they are just the most beautiful food ever. I never have them at any other time of year. But at Christmas, they're there with the Christmas dinner and they are incredible. I don't even particularly like bacon. Like, I could give or take bacon. I ain't interested at all. But there's something about a pig in a blanket. It needs to be nice and crispy, so it's nice and brown around the outside. Wow. We should move on. So those are just a very, very small collection of the foods which I absolutely adore and bring the festive period to life for me. Like, these foods are incredible. I'm sure there are absolutely shed loads which I've completely forgotten. I did this list kind of a couple of days ago. Nothing else has occurred to me, but I'm pretty sure that by the time it rolls around to Boxing Day, I'll have remembered about 800 more things that I love to eat at this time of year. Please do let me know below Christmas food that you love to eat. I mean, I know I've missed some, so let me know. Again, I'm really interested to see kind of different countries and whether or not you eat all of these foods or whether you have different things. I'm fairly sure that actually in Christmas dinner in England traditionally we eat turkey but I'm sure I've heard that in America that doesn't happen so much because turkey is to do with Thanksgiving. But anyway I would love for you to let me know what your favourite Christmas food is and are your traditional Christmas foods different to ours. 
very excited about Christmas. It is approaching at a very rapid rate. And there is time for more Christmas jumpers. So look out for those. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.